Welcome to the rocket profile of the Ariane 4, the ultimate version of the early Ariane rockets. The main three stages of Ariane 4 are basically the same as Ariane 1 except with upgraded engines and stretched tanks. It has two types of additional boosters, the solid PAP boosters and the liquid PAL boosters. This rocket has two of each and the PAP solids only last 33 seconds providing 650 kN each. The PAL boosters have Viking 6 engines, which are special variants of the Viking engines on the first and second stages, and these burn unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide for 2 minutes and 22 seconds with a vacuum thrust of 752 kilonewtons and a vacuum specific impulse of 278 seconds. For each variant of Ariane 4, numbers and letters are appended to indicate the number and type of boosters on it. Ariane 40 has no boosters, Ariane 42P has two PAP solid boosters, Ariane 44P has four solids, Ariane 42L has two PAL liquids, Ariane 44L has four PAL liquids, and has the greatest payload capacity to geostationary transfer orbit, 4.72 tons. The variant you see here in this video is the 44LP, which has both types of boosters, and slightly less payload capacity than the 44L. The first stage has four Viking 5C engines burning UDMH and N204 for 3 minutes and 25 seconds and delivering a thrust of 758.5 kN in vacuum each at a specific impulse of 278 seconds. The second stage is a more vacuum optimized Viking engine, the Viking 4B, which also burns UDMH and N204. It has a 2 minute and 12 second burn during which it provides 720.96 kN of thrust with a vacuum ISP of 296 seconds. The final stage of the rocket is the hydrogen oxygen cryogenic HM7B, which is analogous to the RL10 on American rockets. It provides 62.7 kN for 12 minutes and 39 seconds with a specific impulse of 446 seconds. This stage indicates that, like most Ariane rockets, the Ariane 4 is optimized for geosynchronous transfer payloads rather than low Earth orbit. However, with its powerful second stage, Ariane 4 never had to maintain a high pitch the way its successor, the Ariane 5, has to. Between 1990 and 2003, Ariane 4 launched 116 times with 113 successes for an overall success rate of 97.4%. The Ariane 5, which replaced it, was not based on the Viking engines used in Ariane 1 through 4, and instead adopted a simpler long duration cryogenic first stage and two different second stages. And with that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Ariane 4.